Zenyatta decides to show up in that race, which TVG has ponied up an additional $400,000 for. This would be it, so it's probably going to pull out all the stops, and we might see a Rachel that we've not even seen before. We might see everything that's in the tank today. Yeah, I think you're going to see the bottom of uh, what's inside Rachel Alexander today. Whatever she's got, I think you're going to see it today. And I'll tell you right now, you thought you heard that crowd roar. If she wins today, wait till you hear more. Yeah, Huge numbers everywhere else. Guys. If there is going to be an upset, who do you think it might be? I'll look to the seven past the point just because he ran so well on this racetrack last year and he loves Saratoga. He's never been worse than second in four tries. He nearly beat Curlin and uh, he could upset the Jackson camp here if there's going to be one. I'm with Asiatic Boy just because I think this horse has time. Um, I think that's the only shot to beat her. Rachel Alexander trying to go down as one of the greatest Phillies in the history of our sport and win her ninth race in a row. Here's Tom Durkin with the great one Woodward. They're in the gate. Past the point on the outside to tear it down toward the rail. Rachel Alexander is right up there with them. And cool comment on the outside. So they race into the first turn here. Rachel Alexander will duel with Daterra. On the far outside, past the point is right there. And in behind, Cool Coleman. A break of three. Back to It's a Bird, another three. Back to Bulls Bay, who's on hold early on here. Asiatic Boy, and another seven to Macho again, who trails the field. Oh, the first quarter was 22 and four fifth seconds. There'll be no free ride for Rachel Alexandra. They're making her work for every step today. Deterra has sent her through a punishing opening quarter mile. Past the point on the outside, runs along in third. In behind them, Cool Coleman is fourth. It's a bird fifth on the outside in Bulls Bay. 46 and two was the half mile. Calvin Burrell was able to slow that pace down just a little bit, but they move into the far turn. There's a half mile to go. Rachel Alexandra still holding that lead. Past the point trying to get to her. The lead is now a length. On the inside, it is Cool Coleman running in third. It's a bird is fourth. Asiatic Boy is launching a bit from the back of the pack, and Macho again is firing too. They're coming to the top of the stretch. It is still the Philly in front. A dramatic stretch drive awaits in the Woodward Stakes. On the outside, here's Bulls Bay, and Calvin Morell imploring his Philly for more, and Rachel Alexandra holds on to the lead. Bulls Bay is second. Macho again is making a tremendous run from the back of the pack. Rachel Alexandra, Macho again they're coming down to the finish it's going to be desperately close here's the wire rachel won she is indeed rachel alexandra the great beating macho again here and farther back bulls bay was third the time was 148 and one rachel alexandra raises the rafters here at the spa Rachel Alexandra, no doubt one of the greatest in the history of this sport as she beats older males, something that had never been done before 148 and won the final time. You have just witnessed a historical moment in the world of thoroughbred horse racing. Rachel Alexander opening up down the backside. She set up an opening quarter, 22 and change. Like I said, they can't put the heat on her. She puts it on them. A tremendous performance through pressure early on and fast opening splits. What a performance from one of the best Phillies we have ever seen, if not the best. The crowd responding with cheers all around, Paul. I'm not even gonna say nothing. I watched her come by here just now. I got chills on my back. Amazing, amazing, amazing. 22 and change and she won. 22 and change. How fast is this Philly? And I don't know if you can hear this, but another roar from the crowd behind us. This is just incredible. The heat, Simon, that she took early in this race and to be able to hold off that late charge from Macho again, incredible. She's eight for eight now. She's locked up horse of the year, no doubt. Oh, there's no question she's locked up horse of the year. Like I said, the last two uh, three old fillies to win horse of the year won the Woodward, and that was Twilight Tear and Busher. We're still waiting for a possible matchup with the Zenyatta Cap. We should know here uh, pretty soon, hopefully. I mean, the plan was to run in the latest secret, but maybe they'll take a look at this and want to take her on. But this chair from the crowd is going to be unbelievable when she goes back to the winner's circle. Great job, Calvin Burrell. You know what's even Great job. You know what's even more amazing? is that when they came by us, we're by the quarter ball, 
She rebroke again, was up five lengths on Macho again. Even though Macho again, who runs another big race, she rebroke when they galloped out again. Unreal. I tell you what I like about the gate break, Greg, just to interrupt you. Calvin didn't want to get in that situation with Datara and Cool Cole, man. He asked his filly a little bit to establish position. He's floating the horses to the outside of him a little while. Somebody wants to come up the inside in the first turn, go ahead and take the lead. They tried for about 400 yards down the backside, but they can't. That's what I was been saying all week. If you go with Rachel Alexander, you do at your own peril because you can't put the heat on her. She puts the heat on you, and she put it on the field here in the Woodward. 46 and 2 for the half. I, I agree. See, here's the thing is a lot of people are gonna say that Belle Dame she won by 20 lengths. All these other races she won by a lot. To me, this is the most impressive. You're facing older horses. You go 22 and change and 46 going a mile and eighth and win the race. Amazing, amazing. And to have the finishing power right here as we look at her come down the lane again to hold off Simon, a horse who's the Stephen Foster winner. Yeah, coming at you. One of the best older horses in the country. I mean, it's unbelievable. I just wish the viewers at home could right now hear the cheers. Calvin Burrell is parading Rachel Alexander back. There's a good shot. He's taking his hat off. And the crowd is in constant cheer. What a performance. And the racing fans here appreciating brilliance.